In this video, we will demonstrate an unbalanced load flow and the phase balance optimization function. Phase balance optimization distributes the connected phases of asymmetric elements in a way that will minimize the power imbalance in the network. Study case unbalanced load flow should be activated. In this diagram, the feeder FD103 is shown. If we open the transformer dialog and go to the grounding neutral conductor tab, we can see that a neutral connection has been set. All the lines in this feeder have been modelled with a neutral conductor. The feeder consists of four main branches. The first branch contains single phase loads which are connected to phase A and neutral and are supplied by a three phase line. If the cubicle of the load is edited, it's possible to choose the phase of the terminal it's connected to. The second branch also contains single phase loads, but in this case, the terminals only have one phase available since they're supplied by a single phase line which is connected to phase A. In the third branch, the single phase loads are connected between phases A and B. As with the single phase to neutral loads, you can choose the connected phases in the load cubicle. Finally, in the fourth branch, the loads are three phase loads, but the power is unbalanced. This icon can be used to open the load flow command. We'll execute an unbalanced AC load flow. Let's look at the load flow results. Calculation results for this terminal are already shown. We can also edit this line label to show the active power in each phase and the power imbalance. it can be seen that the power imbalance in the line is quite high. For the terminal, we can see the voltages of all three phases and the neutral conductor to earth, together with the imbalance factor of the voltage. This factor reflects the ratio between negative and positive sequence voltages and is quite large in this case. The imbalance is reflected in the voltage profile. The voltage differences are very high and some of the lines are loaded above their 80% upper limit as indicated by the red colouring. Looking at the vector plots, it's clear that the currents are very unbalanced. And there's also a high neutral to earth voltage. This situation can be addressed using the phase balance optimization function, which is found in the distribution network optimization toolbox. Feeder FD103 has already been selected, and the required objective function has been set. We'll save the changed configuration in a new variation, which allows you to switch between the old and new states for comparison. The optimization command is executed. You can see that a new variation has been created and is activated. 
With the optimization complete, let's now run another load flow. We can see that the results show an improvement. The imbalance factors of both the voltage and power have been reduced. Let's now look at the changes made to the network elements by the phase balance optimization. In the first branch, the single phase loads have been distributed between the phases. In the second branch, all the single phase loads are connected to a single phase line, so they couldn't be redistributed. However, the single phase line has been reconnected from phase A to phase B. The phases of the loads in the third branch have been distributed more evenly. Finally, the phase distributions of the unbalanced three-phase loads in the fourth branch have been changed. You can see details of all the phase changes in the output window. Now, the voltage profile shows balanced voltages and no lines are overloaded. Looking at the current vector plot, a much more symmetrical system is seen. And in the voltage vector plot, we can see that, as a result of the phase balance, the neutral-to-earth voltage is reduced too.